everyone, so this video is going to be my first ever first impressions review which I'm pretty excited about because I've never done one before and I love watching. These are one of my favourite things to watch because I'm always really interested to see how things last and like people's first impressions. But I am doing a first impression on today is the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless 3 in 1 Foundation. Now, um, this is the same thing as the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous Outlast three-in-one thing in America. They are owned by the same company and you can tell even the packaging is pretty much the same apart from obviously they've got different branding on it. Um, it claims the same things, it's the same thing. I'm interested to try this because I'm wanting at the moment, I don't know why because I've got dry skin but I've been wanting more of a matte look. Um, so I'm interested to see how um, matte finish foundations work for dry skin because I think it's useful for people with dry skin to see how it works because like I think foundations like these that have got a matte finish all the reviews and impressions that you see from people are from people with like oily skin or at least what I've seen so I thought I would do um, a couple of reviews on ones for dry skin so I've also got the Rimmel Stay Matte which um, I'm going to do another first impression. This says it's a 3-in-1 foundation, primer, concealer and foundation in one and it's SPF 20. Now, um, I am going to show you me applying it and obviously my first impression. That's pretty much all it says. It just says prime, foundation and concealer in one. So I didn't use a primer, um, I didn't use a concealer, not even under my eyes. And obviously I use this for foundation because I wanted to see if it does what it says it does. Um, I have powdered because I would do that anyway. And um, if I want to see how long a foundation is going to last, there's no point in me not using powder because naturally I would use powder. So... Um, I've used powder. I actually really like the finish of it. Um, it's given like a matte finish but it's not clung to any dry patches which is pretty amazing. I got mine in golden 75. I have heard that it oxidises so if it does, this matches me pretty well so if it oxidises I'm going to look like a tangerine. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, but yeah, I will now just go ahead and get into the first impression. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert face brush for this. It feels really like, really easy to blend. I thought it might be really hard because I was reading reviews on it yesterday and some people said it's really hard to blend, it dries really quick. The colours are pretty good match actually. Although, um, I did read quite a lot of times that it oxidises so I hope I don't walk into work with an orange face because that would be embarrassing. It's definitely covering a lot. It feels really nice to apply. It doesn't feel heavy which I'm surprised at because it's supposed to be like a flawless finish so I want to smudge my eyebrows. I hate doing my foundation after I've done my eyebrows because I don't want to smudge them. That's covered really well. Let's take it down my neck. It was so easy to blend. Now, I wouldn't say it's covered everything because I have a couple of little red marks on my chin and it's not covered them completely like to a standard where I'd want to go to work with it so I'm actually just going to put a little bit more it hasn't clung to any dry patches which I'm surprised at because I read that as well I'm going to set it with a powder just because that is how I wear my foundation and I think a proper review would be to show you how I would actually wear it um, I'm just not going to do the primer, concealer or foundation because it says it's all in one. If it said it was powder as well, then I wouldn't powder. Sorry, I've got chewing gum in. That's probably a problem. Like, nah, nah, nah. So I've done the rest of my makeup, finished getting ready for work, etc. And um, yeah, I actually really like it. It has gone into more of like a matte finish, like a demi matte finish. The colour is pretty good, so I'm just hoping that it doesn't oxidise, but I am kind of expecting it. So yeah. Um, I'm working till late today, I'm working till about 8, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check up throughout the day every few hours and then um, write it down on my phone so that I know when I check back at the end of the night that, um, like what's gone on throughout the day. So if it goes, if it needs touching up at any point, I am going to touch it up um, because obviously I'm at work and I don't look like a dog to <laughs> the clients. So, yeah, 
Um, it is now, look how cute that is, <laughs> 8.15 in the morning, so I'll probably check that. It'll be in about 12 hours, if not more. Oh. This foundation is going to get an ass kicking today because it's going to be on for 15 hours, probably. So, um, it gives us a good chance to really see how it holds up. So yeah, I will check back with you at the end of the night. Okay, so I've literally just walked through the door from work. So I made notes throughout the day of the foundation, how it lasted and stuff like that. So I'll go through that. It's 11, so three hours later, um, it had oxidised. Probably say by a half to a full shade darker. So if you're going to go for it, I would definitely go below what you think you're going to go because it does oxidise. So I ended up with like a nice mark between my uh, neck my face and my neck, a really nice um, foundation line going on there. Um, so I just got some tinted moisturiser at work and made my neck a bit darker so I didn't look so ridiculous. Um, it wasn't a massive deal, I didn't like turn orange or anything, I just noticed that it was darker than it was when I put it on. Um, but there was no need for touch ups or anything, I just literally needed to match my neck. Half two, I did touch up my teaser. It still looked just as good as when I put it on in the morning. I wasn't clinging to any dry patches. Half four, it still looked just as good, didn't need to touch up and also my mum said my skin was looking really nice so I don't know if that's the foundation or because my skin's looking nice but yeah. six o'clock which was the last time um, it still looked really good, I didn't need to touch up and it hadn't oxidised any more than it had to start with uh, it doesn't keep going darker, it just kind of goes a bit darker and then that's it. My blusher, my bronzer still looked perfect, there was no patchiness, it hadn't clung to any dry patches and I didn't need to touch it up and normally I probably, my Estee Lauder double wear probably powder twice throughout the day um, just because I like it to not look shiny at all um, although I don't like mega matte, I like glowy but sometimes I don't want it to like border on shiny um, and it's quite hot in the office where I work, it was, it was quite warm so I thought it did quite well and I was quite busy doing things so it lasted pretty well um, it lasted longer than my Estee Lauder double wear, so. 8 o'clock so, um, it still looks pretty good, um, not quite as good as, like my bronze is still on and stuff, it's starting to look a little bit patchy here which is where I tend to get, if it's going to like start rubbing off that's the places it tends to get patchy. It still hasn't clung to any dry patches, it's kind of settled in some weird places a tiny bit around my nose but nothing noticeable. This side of my face looks better than the other. This side has gone patchy but nobody, it's not patchy that anyone would know, I'm obviously studying it pretty hard because I'm doing a review on it, um, but I am really impressed with it. reminds me of the Bourjois Flower Perfection which which they've discontinued so that's good that there's like um, a dupe for it and they, the Flower Perfection reminds me of the Estee Lauder Double Wear so therefore this reminds me of the Double Wear and I'm pretty sure someone said, I think someone commented on Facebook saying it was supposed to be a dupe for it and it definitely is pretty close in my opinion. The only thing I'd say was different, I think this has a slightly more matte finish but that's just on me. It's lasted really well, I mean I've had it on for like 12 hours and um, it still looks really good. Now normally I would wear my foundation until I was going to go to bed, so like 10, 11 o'clock but I'm actually about to dye my hair so it's going to get taken off so this is going to be like the last review. So I am really impressed with it I've got to say. I'm most impressed that it hasn't clung to any dry patches because with matte finish foundations they tend to and even though my skin isn't as dry as it used to be I do still get dry patches like around my nose and in between my eyebrows. It looks pretty good. I'm impressed. If anyone else with dry skin has tried it I would love to know how it worked for you because yeah I haven't seen any dry skin reviews on it and you don't tend to on matte foundations so yeah. I'm impressed. I am really impressed. I was kind of expecting it to look really dry, cakey. It doesn't look cakey whatsoever. Well impressed. Well done, Max Factor. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want more first impressions, let me know if you enjoyed it. If it was shit, then it's fine. I won't do any more. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.